Hey everybody, and welcome to the 12th LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the if and else statements. Now these are conditional statements. Now what does that mean? Conditional statements. Well, if you ever had a parent look at you and say, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. Or if you do that, something bad's going to happen or something good. What's called a condition. Um, sometimes people call it conditional love. I love my cat, but if it barfs on the carpet, I'm suddenly mad at it. So, all right. We're going to look at the structure of an if statement. You can see the syntax is if, and then in parentheses, condition, code to be executed if condition is true, and then semicolon. That looks really complex, but it's actually very simple. Here's an example. If d dollar sign, or the d variable, and up here we're signing it the date. If the day is Friday, echo, have a nice weekend. So what you're seeing here is you're saying if, the start of our conditional statement, our condition, if it evaluates to true, the code is executed. Also, there's an if else. If condition, execute this code. But if this is not true, then jump down here to else, this code block right here. For example, uh, day equals Friday. If day equals Friday, have a nice weekend. Otherwise, have a nice day. And then there's the if else if else sounds pretty confusing but it's actually pretty simple same thing if then execute this code otherwise else if execute this code else execute this code now what that means let's look at this example here the d variable is the day if the day equals notice the two equal signs we discussed that in our operators tutorial if the day is friday have a nice weekend else if the day is Sunday, have a nice Sunday, else just have a nice day. So let's actually jump in and write some code ourselves here. Got our handy little program. Well, let's make a variable. Let's call it uh, age. And I am 38 years old. So just enter whatever your age is. And we're going to say if age equals 38. echo you are still young I know some of you out there that are younger than me are going no you're not shame on you be nice to your elders so if age is 38 which it is then you are still young so let's actually change this and let's say if age greater than 38 you are older than me and we're going to say whoops lost track of my mouse there else notice how it pops up else or else if echo don't forget your semicolon you are not older than me you are not older than me. Why? Because 38. We're saying if the age is greater than 38, you are older than me. Otherwise, now you see why the else if is there. Let's do another example here. Let's just change this to, well, it's the retirement age in the United States is 65. So actually, let's do it this way. Leave by current age. Sorry about that. I, got, I had to, I had to bribe my cats to leave me alone with catnip and apparently the catnip's wearing off because they're both sitting here messing with me. So if it's over 65, age is greater than 65, then echo you were retired. Else you are not retired. Alright, let's see here. You are not retired. Now I'm going to go over this a little bit more just in case you're new to programming. Um, if you are not new to programming, this should look very familiar. If you're used to a C style language like Java, C Sharp, C++, you're probably screaming at me to get to the point. All right. Our age variable is 38. We've assigned it using the equal sign. Now we're saying if age is greater than 65, 
you are retired. We should probably say greater than or equal to because 65 is a retirement age. Else, you are not retired. Because it's 38, it hits this if statement, evaluates this condition in parentheses, and remember your math classes from school, anything in parentheses will get executed first. So that evaluates defaults, so it jumps right over this block of code down to this else statement. And an else is kind of a catch-all, saying, okay, nothing happens, so do this. So then this block of code is executed, which is why it says you are not retired. Let's change our variable to 72. Suddenly, you are retired. Because it evaluated and says, is age, 72, greater than or equal to 65? Yes, it is, so we're going to execute this code. Let's switch this back down to our current age here. And we're going to throw in an else if. Now, notice with the else if, we put in the parentheses again. Why? Because we have to evaluate a condition. So we're going to say age greater than or equal to 55. We'll say echo you are almost retired. Now if we save that, it just says you're not retired because we're 38. Remember, it's going to say if age evaluate or it's going to say if evaluate this condition age greater than or equal to 65 does not equal true. So we're going to jump over this. Then it's going to do this else if if age greater than or equal to 55 it's going to do this. But it didn't evaluate to true, so it's jumping down here. Now let's change this to 55. You are almost retired. So what's going on here is we're saying if evaluating this condition that's not equaling true so we're jumping down to the else if evaluating this condition and this time it's true because we are 55 and it's executing this code. In case you haven't figured it out by now the if statement is the real workhorse of any programming language. Um, programs are basically decisions. Do I get up on time? You know, it's an if statement. If I get up late, am I going to get in trouble with my boss? If I get up early, am I going to get a promotion from my boss? Where I work, not likely, but you never know. Anyways, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. And remember, programming is not hard.